In the last few videos, we've been using things like lines and polylines, as well as ortho, object snap, and object snap tracking. So what I want to do is you know, quickly use those to show you how you might create a shape like a rectangle, which is really what we've been doing, but then how to use the rectangle tool if um, you find that more useful. So we've been using the line tool uh, to create shapes. So if I grab the line tool, click, and then pull my mouse in the direction I want to go, I can type in the measurement, so I'll say 5 feet, enter, and I'll pull my mouse down the direction I want it to go and say 2 feet, enter, go off to the left, 5 feet, enter, and then up, and I could either type in 2 feet, I could type in C for close, as seen on the bottom of the screen, or I could use object snap to let me end the line right here and I can just hit enter to get out of there. So AutoCAD is going to give you a lot of options to work with. So there's not you know, really any one way to do anything in CAD. Now that's just using a line. If we want to use a polyline, I can basically follow the same process. I click where I want my first line to go, pull my mouse in the direction I want to go, and then just type in my measurements. I'm doing a two foot by five foot rectangle again. But this time, instead of typing in the measurement or using object snap, I could do C for close as offered to me down in the command line. Okay, so that's using either individual lines or a polyline. And that's a perfectly acceptable way to make a shape like a rectangle. But you could also use the rectangle command uh, given to you in AutoCAD. And that's right here in the draw panel it might be hiding under the polygon um, if you can't find it. So using the rectangle command, you'll see that I get to specify the first corner point. Using object snap in a slightly different way than we've done before, what I could do at this point, you know, if I wanted to line these up, for example, is hover over this point. I won't click, but then I just pull my mouse out a little bit and then I'll click you know, out in this empty space. So that means the bottom of this rectangle and then this one will be lined up. And that's a really handy way to use object snap tracking. And then I can type in um, some, some measurements. So in the command line, it's saying to specify the other corner point, which I could do right now by just you know, eyeing this up and clicking. Or I could say I want to do the dimensions. So I'll type in D, enter. And then I will specify my 5 foot length, enter, and my 2 foot width, enter. And then I have to do one more step. So CAD will let me flip this around if I want to. So what I need to do is then click on the screen when it's located where I want it to be. And now I have a rectangle. And notice the rectangle is also a polyline. 